This is Radio Free Oregon. The ch Slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Get back here with that! Shit, that's mine! Uh, 
Ah, uh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shit's gonna run fast. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here... Shit, wrangling freaks, I don't know. They had a newt and some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. You don't... you don't think that... Sarah... No! No, it's not... I... I... I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. <sighs> You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, <laughs> that's great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Bel Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know. How do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think. You just throw your just... leg over. Yeah. Okay. Um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit, look. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where I Road am. 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. 
Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... There'll be any minute now. All right, so. all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. Research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? We got company. Oh, All right, gentlemen. Smart now, huh? Out here, That's big bad biker, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes, hit him again. Now you like that bike, boy? Do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Him. Uh, <laughs> you don't learn, do you, bike boy? Oh yes, oh. yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How Come about on. that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Roll, goddammit! Roll! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, I, I right. saw that and I. Oh. oh, my God. I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. See, I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay. It's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag and I just I tried to call you the police. Good. But there were, you know there what we're were gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Tucker, Hot Springs Camp, there. I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Dink, I already told you everything I know. <laughs> Young, a woman. Wait, he mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that, and remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. I'll keep that in mind. You know.
fuel. Renegades, oh god damn it, don't want the <clears throat> Mind if I do? These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Thank you. 
hide, you son of a bitch! I think that's it. Roads will be a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. They do. Here it is. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. Was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you'd think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we live through the red sky. Yeah. Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue, or a communist red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him. Taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. Built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard, with a neighbor spying. Had to go out into the woods, a ways from the road, where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that manhole cover, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta look around.
use this. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? As you move cautiously, you don't stick around long. Good for you. <sighs> Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night. The freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. Get out here alive.
come on. I just gotta set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? This is sealed up. How does she get in and out? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Oh, man. Okay, uh... Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! Uh, so. That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop. And they would be here waiting for me and we would leave together and... Got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So so I hid. I, I, I didn't know what to do. It's alright, it's okay, it's okay. Uh Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. No. Uh, there are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp, and to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, what? but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is for it, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Okay. Lots of sick people.
some credits. what I can do. Have you ridden before? No. Just climb on behind me, hang on tight. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? You don't talk much, do you? My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is it? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. That, that sounds great. He used to go all over. On that crater, the lava flow, and black crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Shit, someone's in the tunnel. What? Here, hop off. What are we doing? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? I got you. How's it going? Stay here. Find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? Lisa! Kid! Come on out, it's safe! Won't be needing this.
you okay? Yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that. No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland, my best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them. All right, this is it. We're here, Open so just gate. stay with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? This is Tucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people shh, got shh, sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, I'm gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, they don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, D. How's it going? How's Eat life something. in the hot, hot springs? Here, good as new. This will do you good out there. What else can I do for you? Can I get anything else for you? I'm going for a walk. Won't be long. Okay, sure. Looking for anything in particular? You could use a gun like that. That right there, good piece. Find me if you need anything else. Okay. Yeah? Deke, you have a ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday. 
to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman, to death. Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt. Oh, Maria. Right? Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. Hey, Tuck. So, am I on your trust list, or no? What do you want? Can I help you? Forever. Uh, just having a look. Whew. Stuff's getting scarce. Later. Wait a sec, I got it. Well, how's, it how's it going? Last time I saw What's Boozer it? was a few weeks ago. He's still around. He, uh, same as ever. Guess he's just been busy. Heard a rumor that he got hurt or something. That's just Tucker making shit up. He's fine. Maybe next time. Mm hmm. Right. Later, man. That's all I got today. Metolius Springs, Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, Dick. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. Hmm. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. <laughs> Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. O'Brien, oh, get some questions for you. 